Welcome to our video tutorial on the iMac 27 inch. We're going to be talking about a few things today. One is overheating, the other is storage and capacity, and the problems that the iMac has during time. This is something um, that has to do with the um, hardware on it. So it's not a big deal. Most of customers actually give away the Mac or they throw it away or they recycle it. But uh, good news, you don't have to throw away your iMac. So let's just dive right in. As you can see, this is the hard drive. This is where everything gets stored. Your data, your pictures, the operating system, everything that you're saving, everything that you're installing uh, gets stored right there. That's the hard drive. So uh, during time, you know, depending on usage, depending on how much time you use the computer, if you leave it on all the time, it produces a heat around this area right here. So what happens is the uh, mechanics of the hard drive starts failing during time. Uh, we did a couple readings on um, and some research. They state that hard drives, depending on the usage, last around six years. And then, you know, depending on how how much you use the computer, if there's power outages in your area, all that comes to effect and make takes a toll on your hard drive. I mean, on your iMac. So we're going to be talking also about hard drives. As I stated in the beginning, there's a Western Digital here, one terabyte. This runs at 5,400 RPMs. Green is made for lower consumption, lower use. It's cool because it's running at slow speeds. Uh, when we go here to the Western Digital Blue, Blue is for Blue hard drives is for mainly home use, um, no business. You could use it for business use, but if you want something reliable, uh, you can jump right into the Black Western Digital, 7,400 RPMs as you can see. And what that does, uh, revolutions per minute, I believe it means. If I'm wrong, if you guys can comment on that, definitely. But um, the faster the RPMs, the better it'll read and transfer data. Usually, uh, in all cases, the iMac has a black drive. This is how it looks like. As you can see, is there's a black tape on it. Uh, this one has a green, blue, you know, and so on. There's other ones that's like red and um, purple. Purple is mainly for security systems. Uh, red is for network hard drives, but in this tutorial, we're just gonna be talking about these. So, one of the things that do help you guys if you do open one of these and you're a technician, definitely cleaning the vents out. Dust is a major problem inside computers. And also, uh, on this side, what we do is we take the whole entire motherboard out, every single piece, and we just, you know, um, make sure there's no dust underneath. We um, also take care of the thermal paste issue if you have a iMac and it's really hot in the back and you can put your hand in the back and you notice that it's really hot you might want to repaste the CPU and all the video um, chips as well what happens during time the uh, thermal paste dries up so if there's no thermal paste you're gonna see a lot of overheating in the video card and heat is one of the enemies of electronics. Once you have heat in there, things won't work too fast. So, in conclusion, definitely use black when you are repairing a iMac. And not necessarily do you always have to get a hard drive with the Apple on it. These drives over here, you can use them perfectly. They don't have the Apple sign, but you do have to format them in a Mac environment and make sure it's um, formatted for the OS. As you can see, I have an external here. Um, what you do is you connect the hard drive in the top. Sorry about that. And you connect it to a machine. And what it does, it's, it allows you to take the data out and transfer it anywhere. And also, it'll allow you to format the drive so then you can put it in here. So thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Uh, definitely check my other videos out. I am going to be recording everything as it comes in. Uh, for you guys that are studying the A-plus certification, 
and don't have that hands on, definitely watch these videos. I mean, uh, the majority of the time, these problems are repeatedly they come in and it's always the same problem. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and hopefully you guys learn something. Ciao and don't forget, Jarikin on the beat.